What's up everyone? In this issue of Motive Garage, we are putting together the RB26 for our R32 GTR. Now, if you saw the last video on our R32 GTR, you would have seen that we had a piston failure, which led to a catastrophic engine failure. The block was destroyed, uh, and pretty much all of the entire bottom end got thrown in the bin, and we had to start again. Now, at that point, we had to make a choice. 2.6, stroker, three litre block, 3.2 stroker. What do we do? There's a lot of options with the RB. Uh, and all of the testing that we've done with Herman from Platinum Racing Products, Combined with the fact that we wanted to keep this engine build relevant to as many viewers as possible, we've decided to stick with a 2.6 litre 05U block, combined with a platinum brace, and we're gonna stick with a stock crank with a few tricks done to it as well. Now the biggest change with this engine is the head. The experience that we've got with Croydon Racing Developments and the cars they've built and what we've done, when it comes to RB26 heads, their attitude is pretty much leave it stock and just use the you know aftermarket springs and cams, if you're gonna port it or touch it, just go all in. Just, just do all of it. Don't waste your time halfway in between. So we've got one of the CID race ported heads. This head was used in June 2 up until recently. Uh, this head has made as much as 2,000 horsepower. The same head is in War GDR, Drew's R34 Time Attack car. All we do is we spec the camshaft size and duration to basically suit the turbo capacity and the application for the driving. All we can do now is let's take a look, run you through the entire engine build. Let's go. The first step was to send our block to Herman at Platinum Racing Products to have it tested for bore thickness and hardness to make sure it was suitable for a build. It came back with all bores over 3.1 millimetres thickness with its 86.5 millimetre bore and hardness of 242, which is average for an 05U. Basically, our block wasn't bad, but it wasn't above average in any way. Next step was to have the block machined for a platinum brace so we could help improve the strength of the factory block. It was then off to Duncan Foster to have the machine work done. The block was line bored and honed as it has ARP main studs going in, which when tightened up can distort the bearing cap slightly compared to factory. This block had previously been torque plate bored and honed, so it was only getting a light hone ready for another set of 86.5mm pistons. And lastly, it was decked and cleaned, ready for assembly by the guys at Croydon Racing Developments. The guys from Duncan Foster also balanced our factory 2.6 long nose crank, which was also sent off to be shot peened on the radiuses couple of tricks to help keep it alive at over a thousand engine horsepower. Next we had to choose the internals of the engine. Nitto Performance Engineering I-beam rods were chosen for this build as our power target is beyond what the H-beam is designed for. They come with ARP rod bolts and a stronger gudgeon pin. 86.5mm Nitto forge pistons were chosen for this build along with a Nitto billet oil pump once again, but this time we used a Nitto 1.1mm head restrictor due to the high pressure that we'll be running. We also installed a Nitto head drain kit this time around for better oil control. And once again, we went for a Nitto performance engineering metal head gasket in standard thickness along with a Nitto gasket kit. Externally, we're using the new Nitto crank pulley, which is made from stronger material than factory and has two threaded holes in it for easier removal. The reputation and track record of Nitto Performance Engineering products, combined the fact that they're designed in Australia with local support, made it the perfect choice. ACL Race Series bearings and ARP main studs, along with Tomei head studs, finish off the parts list in the bottom end. We reused our CID spec enlarged sump with baffles and extended pickup, and we also reusing our Ross balancer again. The platinum brace also spaces the sump further down and helps add some extra oil capacity as well. 
Our new head is a CRD race ported item. The same is used in War GTR, Drew's Time Attack R34, and was used in Jun 2 up until the end of 2018. CRD are of the belief that the stock RB26 head is good enough that if you're going to port it, go the whole hog and do it properly. Then you choose a camshaft to suit the power, turbo size, capacity and driving style. We went for a 280 degree camshaft as we don't want to rev past 9000 with the factory crank and we're still a 2.6. We then opened up the Supertech catalogue to fill the head, thanks to the guys from Faber Australia. One millimetre oversized valves for extra flow, double valve springs, chosen as they have stronger pressure but won't bind with high lift camshafts, Supertech retainers, and Supertech buckets, which have a different design inside than factory to help hold in the shim. You may ask why we didn't go shimless, and that's because you can't adjust the clearances as the engine wears and if you upgrade camshafts in the future. War GTR and Jun 2 still use shims, so if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. Well, here it is. Our RB26 is nearly finished. We're just waiting on the shims to arrive. We're gonna put a new oil pump on it, then we can get the sump on it, and then we can put all the ancillaries on the outside and get it in the car. Stay tuned.